Hi everyone, so today it's a very snowy day here in Toronto. <laughs> it feels like negative 32, but <laughs> we're still surviving, right? <laughs> so today's video is actually about uh, five things that I would do differently if I before coming to Canada, like if I knew them, right? So first thing is actually I'll start in a chronological order, right? So first thing before coming here, uh, I would suggest you actually get a phone or if you have a good phone, bring it with you. That's not what we did because uh, I thought, okay, I'm going to go to Canada, right? I'm going to buy a phone there. Probably it's going to be free and just going to pay for the monthly bill. Uh, so it turns out it's more expensive that way. So in, in that case, you can uh, buy a phone with you before coming, right? That's going to save you some money uh, down the way. And second thing that I think you should do before uh, coming here, uh, not actually before coming here, but yeah, you can do that before coming here as well, is know where to buy what. So because there are some stores that um, sell certain products uh, and they specialize on those products. So. So if you know where to buy groceries, where to buy some uh, items for your home, right? Then you'd be actually saving money because like what that's not what we did when we came and uh, we live in this neighborhood, right? And obviously prices are more expensive here in the stores. So there are some stores which sell some products cheaper than the others, right? So I'm actually going to review stores in a separate video, but just researching and knowing where to buy what is can actually save you some money in the first few months while you'll be here. Uh, third thing is that um, when you're negotiating your first rent, try to actually get it for four or five months. Don't take it like us for the whole year. In that case, uh, you know, first you want to have a place where you have clo uh, proximity to uh, public transport because like you need to get around, right? And you wouldn't have a car in, in the beginning, you wouldn't have a driver's license. So before you get that driver's license, you need actually a place close to subways, uh, metro, you know, uh, buses, trams, anything. So uh, the next thing I would do differently is, uh, first, as soon as you come here, just get any kind of job, doesn't matter. Like if it's Starbucks, if it's anything else, uh, don't be picky, you know, like uh, I wasn't selecting, I wasn't agreeing on all the jobs that were available and actually by doing that I would uh, stop stop say, spending my savings and start actually making some money, right? At least it would pay for some costs. And the last thing and I think the most important thing is that as soon as you uh, come here, get a driver's license, uh, buy a car and then that will increase your chances dramatically you know to find any kind of jobs and also i mean you can do just uber or you can do something else but overall it's gonna make your life much easier when you have a car when you can actually drive and buy the products you need cheaper and then uh, in just there's more job opportunities like that uh, one more thing actually that uh, makes sense is that when you have a car you can find a rent further away from downtown, right? And you can actually save on that rent because uh, otherwise, like there isn't um, the places where the rent is cheaper. There is no public transport, right? So that makes it cheaper. But if you have a car, that means you're not uh, you don't already need any kind of transportation to get there. So that's why it makes it much better. So that's that's five things. Uh, to consider before coming to Canada or after you already arrived to Canada and please subscribe to this channel and I'll be posting more videos. Hope to see you all soon. Bye.